So, my dear Aries, the sun, which is now in Pisces, here in Osho Zentaro, connected with the past lives, we recognize that again and again we come into this life and learn our lessons and we take the opposite position right when we see both sides then we can really truly come in our center and so here two hands form a vagina and the portal is protected by the two salamanders the knowing and the not knowing and here the lives that we live and so there is always the duality there is always the two that can create the one right so this is giving the light to the moon which is in your sign and so we are reading to the left and I place you over here because we're going to read to the left to your new moon which is in the next reading and today the moon in your sign and Pisces connected with the moon in the sun is a very interesting combination to the left introverted to the left the new moon which is in the next reading because then you have sun and new moon both in your sign and you do not have someone influencing you you are in the sun and you are in the moon and that's always a very powerful moment because you can be the light and you can be the dark you can be the yin and you can be the yang so you are here the emperor the number four which are the four elements and also in the chakra system the heart and the squareness of life here we have the 18 the 10 the wheel of fortune some also say the one the magician and the eight the infinite loop of coming and going inhale and exhale and so the eight is also the eight chakra right the soul star above our head and calculated together we get the nine and the nine is the completion the nine is i have arrived so i work with numbers just that you know and i include the planets because for me the planets are kind of the actors in your world and I do not so much work with the houses, but of course I include them because you are the first house of self. The houses in your life are where does the scene take place? And the signs are the roles they play. So then we also have the aspects, which is how do the actors talk to each other how do the planets talk to each other are they angry are they helping each other are they against each other right and so you are ruled by mars and mars is clearly the power the fighter the explorer but also the warrior and also the aggression and the yoga pose that I gave you is the meditation because your body part is the brain and the only way to access your brain is through meditation to really be an emperor you need to be very clairvoyant you need to know 
ahead of the game what's going on and how do you do that you do that by going up in a higher consciousness going up through the shamanic perspective into the ego Pisces is ruled by Neptune Neptune is the deep deep dream world the soul roars and flies and so here we have the dreams and also of course the spirit the yoga position for pisces of course is fish pose and for the two salamanders that are guarding the portal i have the upward and the downward facing dog and this is the not knowing and the knowing this is usually the wolf and the dog that has evolved he's looking up He's looking into the higher consciousness while the downward dog is looking down here at this life. So this is a very interesting combination always, right? I do it exactly on the day the moon is in your sign. And so I get, of course, the feeling and the energy of you through the moon, through my subconscious. You are the Queen of Wands. Is your birthday between March 12th and April 9th? Then she is your court card. If not, please look in the description below. I have listed all the cards that I'm using on what position they are and what they mean in your journey. I pick only a few major arcanas out of the 22 major arcanas to create a story, to create a path that you're taking every month, a new path because you get a new influence through the sun. And so she is your court card, the queen of wands. Again, you are the first house of self and identity. And it's really beautiful the way you sit here and meditate, like I said, that is the way you have access to your brain. Now here in Pisces, we have the feet as the body part. And so you see how here the feet are flat and here the top of the feet are on the floor, right? And the feet are our subconscious right deep down we know you are as an aries a fighter the horns are connected to the third eye and so for you it's important to know that you when you meditate that you're connecting to your third eye now neptune is also ruling the hanged man and the hanged man is going to be the inspiration the vision that you're getting through a deck that is called the creativity oracle because pisces is the 12th house of spirituality and art very interesting right we would always think spirituality is the church is um, all that which we think okay we have to be very holy no spirituality is Creativity, creativity, look at the world outside, look what we have, the animal kingdom, the mineral kingdom, right, the plant kingdom, it's amazing, and so it's really important to understand the artistic perspective, and we're going to have a look what this deck is wanting to tell you. So here we have this picture. Have a look. Look at this little cat. It's becoming a tiger. <laughs> Confidence. The number 
77. You get a portal right away, and that portal is connected with your crown chakra. And to wear a crown, like an emperor, is important to understand that the confidence that we need to live that, know and feel this affirmation beyond a doubt. I am all that I need to get what I want. Wow. So the 77 has a portal, right? I do not calculate portals together. But if I would, it's the 14. And the 14 is Sagittarius, temperance. The balancing out of the masculine, the feminine. With the two cups, the guardian angel. And the 14 then has the 10 in it. The same way the 10 here and the 12 of the hanged man. The 10 is the wheel of fortune. Is a new cycle. And the four, you. And here the two, the high priestess. So the 12 turns into a three. And so then the 14 turns into a five, the five senses. All together an eight. The infinite, the infinite that Pisces is bringing the lives that you have lived so that you can now here be an emperor, that you can really rule, that you can rule out of a higher knowledge and use it. But the 77 is being creative. Two times the seven. The seven is the chariot, the emotional intelligence, the healing, the compassion, to know that you can now be creative and playful like this little tiger. Very beautiful, right? So the message begins clearly that you are learning. Learning to really now be confident, right? And to know without a doubt that this confirmation, I am all that I need to get what I want, is now playing here an important part in this reading. Back to the last reading where we had Aquarius Sun giving the Aries Moon the light. The message was two, 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 four times the two. Your heart asks you to radically accept what is now. So here you had two times the two of cups and here the two the radical acceptance, right? And four times the two, the two is the creativity, the two is the duality, the two is the high priestess, and four, again, that's you. So that was quite a beautiful message for you, right? And so now, when we look again at this message from here, uh, Neptune, because back then the message came from Uranus, and Uranus is the fool as well right uranus is actually bringing us the new right the inspiration and so interesting enough aquarius is the card number 17 and when we calculate together we get the eight and you have an eight here so continue this path explore and know that you have everything you need to get what you want. So we begin the reading on the position of the fool. That foolish idea, that foolish thing, you walking into this confidence here, the Knight of Cups, Pisces. He is the one that walks the love. He is the one that walks the talk. And he's the 12th zodiac sign plus the zero. We have 120. And you're walking into or towards this little tiger. Either there is a Pisces coming to you. There's a Pisces in your life that is walking towards you. 
or you yourself becoming more loving and caring and you are acknowledging right that you have everything that you need so the 120 then when we calculate together we get the three and the three is the empress now like i said the fool is connected with uranus this new feeling that you get that all of a sudden comes up this urge right to know that you are all you need that you don't need no one but the path of love of course it's a beautiful energy and you see he's coming towards you you see he or she is going to the right meanwhile we're reading to the left and it's important for you to understand that we have through the moon six months that are extroverted towards the full moon which is in your opposite sign libra and then we have six months introverted through going more and more to the new moon right which you have in your next reading so it's normal that we feel for six months more introverted and it's then normal that we feel for six months to feel more extroverted and so here you feel that this is right something either a person comes to you or you are actually with a loving and kind energy going now towards this goal towards this vision that i am right all that i need to get what i want then on the position of the magician comes here the rainbow the number 41 now here we see how behind this love is the rainbow is this bird he's flying after him because the love that here the knight of cups has and walks right is tremendous is huge and so the bird is literally following him the bird is saying yes i too want to go out there i too want to follow the talk that the knight of cups has and so the 41 turns into a five now recognize here the reverse right we had here with the 77 if we calculate together we have the 14 and so we have a five here as well right and so here it's the reverse it's the four you and then the one the magician and the magician is here the magician is the one that is the inspiration the inspiration is to bring when you walk the talk the rainbow with you all people listen to this when you talk about love all people feel it and so the 41 the 5 plus the 1 is the 6 and the 6 then is the self love is the lovers is the hexagram is right understanding that you are now ready to really love yourself while you are going out right at the same time though you also go in right because it's what um, this energy through the moon is bringing to you deep down you are more introverted but we still have to live in the outer world right and you see here the tiger cup is going out and it's like yes i'm going out there i'm getting what i think i want to get right and so here i wanted to see what is the rainbow actually bringing right because the magician is connected with mercury and mercury is the brain is the message is what is coming to you and the daughters of swords came up here and the daughter of swords are all three air signs which is gemini libra and aquarius and so aquarius brought you back then right the radical acceptance 
in the love, right? And so you see now that the message is coming, the radical acceptance is coming through the Knight of Cups towards you, right? And so either Libra is bringing you that information or a Gemini, which is also connected with Mercury or Aquarius, right? Which we had then back in the last reading. So what is coming here is through the wind, this young generation, the young people are showing you information is coming and she is ready to bring that information out, right? It's almost like the young generation has the information of the new zeitgeist, right? And so the bird is like bringing it to the night of cups and the night of cups is coming at you and saying, hey, yes, that's what we're doing. That's how we're doing it. On the position of the high priestess comes here the knight of cups again. But look where he's going. Then when you have realized all of this, you can go to the left. Wow, I've never seen this. Look at this. Then you can go deep within with the Knight of Cups twice now, to the right, outwards, and to the left, inwards. You can trust, right? You can trust your intuition because the 12th zodiac sign plus the two of the High Priestess is the 14. And the 14 again brings you a five. Then you have, right, the five here and the five here and the five here. Three times the five is become powerful in the way you use your five senses, become powerful in the way you understand the message as the Hierophant is the number five, which is Taurus. And Taurus is also connected with Venus, love and beauty. And so recognize now the empowerment that you are going deep within, that you are knowing that you have the path of love outwards, but also inwards. You have understood the message. You have understood the message through the young generation. Amazing, look at the horse, it's also white and it's a white horse. And again here, the white horse and the white horse is the masculine, right? The white horse is, I understand the power of the higher consciousness. And she is using it and she's like, yes, you know, I'm taking on the information that has come and we can see now that the horse here, she is facing in this direction, but the horse is facing this direction. It's almost like your intuition is saying, yeah, now go out. Go out in this way, right? So beautiful. Look at that. Then on the position of the Empress comes here the chariot, the number seven. Now we had, of course... The 77 here so now you have three times the seven you become powerful in the way you feel that the emotional intelligence is bringing you the answer is bringing you the answer because the three and the seven creates the ten the ten is then a new cycle you're going to your new moon you're going deep within and you are knowing that that's the enlightenment, the white horse and the white sphinx. And so the emotional intelligence, the empowerment that the emotional intelligence brings us is more powerful than money and power and wealth. You are fire. You are through the queen of wands water and fire you are the one that 
is bringing the masculine and the feminine together. Water and fire. Inhale and exhale. And when you do that, then you are really powerful. And that's what the emotional intelligence brings to us, right? The true power lies in knowing that the emotions that I live, the emotions that I walk the talk are making me truly happy. Everything else is a bonus, is an extra. It will come with it. And so here you arrive with a cancer at a completion at the number 10, which is the new one, which is the wheel of fortune, which is everything is spinning and turning. And you are here connected through the Empress, through Venus to this happiness, a deep happiness, maybe also with the cancer. Then comes on the position of Aries in the moon, the Ten of Wands. Now, recognize how many wands he's holding here in this bag and understand that it's heavy what he's carrying. Now, the Ten of Wands plus the four with you is the 14 again. So you recognize again the five. Now we have one, two, three, four times the five. Four, the number to you, but your heart knows the five senses. Do not allow yourself to be oppressed by no one. You are the emperor. You are ruling this world. And so come into your five senses and recognize if you do too much, you do too much. Stop, right? And recognize that. And always stand up for yourself but maybe you put this oppression it's a spiritual oppression right also onto yourself because here we have the constellation saturn in sagittarius and sagittarius is also a fire sign sagittarius is the knight of wands he is adventurous he goes out there and so saturn the finger right again Saturn is a social planet right a social planet or like a society planet we have personal planets right which are Venus and Mercury and Mars and then we have actually a planets of generation and which is Uranus and of course Neptune and Pluto and so Neptune here right brought you the generation that is now living this very clear these are now the new generations that are coming and here we have already the young generation of the um, air signs right gemini and libra and aquarius they are feeling it because pluto the planet of mystery and transformation is going into Aquarius. And so the message is going to be everywhere, right? Everywhere we're going to see this. And we do see it already everywhere, right? This is something you not tell yourself anymore, but you live it. And so understand that this is a new sign for you to arrive, arrive in the five, arrive four times in the five that you know in your heart that you do not allow this to happen to you. Then, on the position of the Queen of Wands in the center of the reading, right, we have the King of Swords. Now, this is Aquarius, right? And Aquarius back then said to you, to, 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 your heart asks you to radically accept what is now. And what is now? that you understand the 11th zodiac sign the 11 is a portal is the inner teacher the inner knowledge is appearing 11 plus the one of you is three times the one 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 in the center of your reading how powerful is that now the 11th zodiac sign is the technology and the community that 
we want to be in because otherwise we do not know who we are and so an Aquarian energy is very clearly here you already had here a young Aquarius right so understand that the young Aquarius has maybe brought some information to you already but now there is the king of swords here bringing you big information knowledge pure knowledge right and you see here he has the bird over his right shoulder the bird that sees into the spirit world so beautiful then on the position of Pisces in the sun comes the two of pentacles moment to moment right in the two of pentacles you have no other pentacles so far it's connected with the constellation Jupiter in Capricorn now Jupiter is the planet of expansion the planet that says well we got to do what we got to do and you see he's going out he's going out into the world and so the 18 and the 2 is the 20 and the 20 is the last judgment is the call your calling is to continue to work to continue to do what you're doing but not getting suppressed by it allow this to shift through more learning that here again this message is really important that you are empowered and that you are not allowing something like this ever to happen to you okay because it's important to understand it so you're taking step by step the um, understanding that money is something that comes and go money is something that you're working with and so you're going out to make your money but you are not allowing yourself to be oppressed ever then on the position now of the moon as the moon oracle the dream oracle right we have here the eye of the eagle the rising above the fray and so the 18 and the 18 is an 1818 portal if we calculate together we have the 99 nine portal as well 1818 18 or 99 nine. and you see that the bird here flew out and now you get the eagle but you also had here a bird on the shoulder of the king of swords and it's almost like this bird is now looking deeper into the soul and we can only do that by meditating remember that i gave you the meditation remember that when we look deep within us for all the signs for everything that makes us strong that makes us confident we find that deep within we don't find that in the outer world so it's important that you see like an eagle from high above right through the eagle eye in the meditation what you are how powerful you are and i want to know what the message is here and the message is that here leo is coming up the strength card but reverse so you still have work to do you still have work to do because you got the ten of wands which is a certain suppression but i think that suppression is done by yourself it's not done by someone else it's done by yourself because you came up here and remember right this is the soul energy the emperor while the queen of once that's the court card that's you alive here down here in this dimension so you are an emperor so why you are getting yourself being oppressed right because here we have leo and leo is the strength 
find the strength by looking deep within that here she sits with all her 12 animal friends and the eagle is here as well and so now understand that in this deck the strength card is the number 11 usually it's the eight so you have a one one portal the 11 again the inner teacher is coming and you need to look deep within why are you not allowing yourself to be strong why you're not allowing yourself to be like a lion because you do have here the lion heads in your card though you aries right this is the card for aries the queen of wands she is water and fire water and fire to combine that it's like again the hexagram it's again a very powerful symbol and here the 11 the inner teacher is coming and you need to look because you have a nine nine here two times nine is become creative in the way you look deep within where have i lost the strength to just be this powerful woman look at her look how beautiful she is she is radiating she is the number 13 and reverse it's not there yet but you're looking for it then on the position of the sun comes here the earth the earth that is looking at the eagle look at that she's the number 15 and the 15 of course is capricorn capricorn that brought you here jupiter and capricorn here the two of pentacles you have everything that you need in the 15 we have the wheel of fortune and the five senses and you had the five coming up four times or i think five times and recognize now that you are taking your job to a new level right the earth your home what you know here through the sun is that you do not want to be attached to anything in the outer world and you do not want to cut yourself off because the 15 in the tarot is of course the devil and the devil is not a personality it's something that within is weak so we get attached so we get actually suppressed because we allow it to happen and so you are looking deep within to find why are you not accepting your true strength and now she comes and says have a look you have everything you're the 15 15 then calculated together right is the six is the self-love exude self-love exude self-knowledge right which came through the king of swords exude that know that know that the bird was coming there already know that the knowledge came already and that you are looking deeper within and now you understand hey why am i doing this to myself now the 19 turns into a 10 here we get the six and the 10 and the six is the 16 is the tower now the tower is ruled by mars and mars is of course then through the tower things leave things leave so that you can really be powerful things leave so that you can turn this around and then the seven is left the seven that is saying hey understand that you are now living this right that you are living the 77 that you are in this emotional intelligence that you are understanding how this world is functioning right that you are understanding that everything has a moment and you are learning to become now um, really strong in your emotional intelligence and so you get that knowledge you get that inner wisdom to live it and to be it but i also want to look what is coming up here as a message and the six of discs to the right came up here now you had two discs and six is eight and the eight 
we know again is that infinite knowledge that is there but we have to open ourselves up to it and so the six of pentagram is actually connected with the constellation moon in Taurus right and Taurus is that moment of we need to awaken to the rainbow because we had the five here when we calculated together and of course we also had the five here if we calculate this together um taurus is the five the higher fend right but moon in taurus is actually then letting you know you need to give and take to receive which is a triangle pointing up and the triangle pointing down the triangle pointing down is the woman that receives the triangle pointing up is the woman that gives the massage and so this to the right is saying you're going out and get it right you're going out and get it because it's important for you to understand now that the 16 the 7 here that was left right the emotional intelligence and the seven and the six is the 13 the 13 is death the transformation you're going through a transformation and then the 13 turns into four and the four is you if you understand that if you see this if you see this message that you are now going out and you're taking that life you are living that life you are making that money you are in the infinite loop of making money but you do not want to get suppressed by it right and that's something that you need to become strong and powerful and that's what's coming here the sun in pisces is bringing you a look deeper into your subconscious right so that you can arrive at yourself and the four is left here and that's you and so it's clear that you need to look deeper within it's clear that the path deep within is saying now you're going to find that you are exchanging and receiving and understanding the game of life that's what it is and then the last card on the world the worldly living out there is coming here the ace of swords and the ace of swords is that clear thought that you got here from Aquarius that you got in the last reading right your heart asks you to radically accept what is now radically accept what is now radically accept also this ah okay maybe I am really here not listening right to who I really am the 14 here again the five right you have a few fives understand that now the 21 the calling here in this dimension in the worldly being that this card represents right the 20 and the one the magician is the three is the empress is giving form the world again is that we love to create things here the four appears with the one of that one thought that one sword that is pointing down and the four appears here again so you have a four four and it's clear that you are understanding now where you're looking at mentally you're understanding the 77 or actually the three times or four times the seven you understand yes I am now getting the light here from this moment here right which was also the four that was left the transformation that I went through that I am living this that I am here looking at this little tiger and say you go you go because you know exactly what's happening here and you understand the reading and you are living it and you are knowing it and you know that the world needs people like you and you know that Neptune has brought you this empowerment right 
through Pisces. Pisces is like, yes, now you're going out there and you're going to make yourself big. And then you see the Knight of Cups coming towards you. And it's that love that you have found deep within that then brings you the people that love you the way you love yourself. Otherwise, it cannot be. Otherwise, it's just always the same. Love yourself and then people come and love you the way you love yourself. Wow, what a beautiful reading. I hope I see you in the next one because that's when you get your new moon. Very important that you understand that, right? You're going to get an important message there. You're going to get clearly an important message there of knowing that you are walk the talk until then. I thank you so much for being with me. Namaste.